Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I would like to share with all of you a message given by our Lord Jesus Christ to Blessed Elena Aiello on the 16th of April, 1954. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, please take a moment in sharing this video with others, as we hope that this video will reach as many people as possible, to the conversion of sinners and salvation of souls. Let us now humbly ask the Most Holy Spirit to lead us in all ways, including the discerning of the message within this video. As for God, all things are possible. And with trust and love, please join me and say, Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit, did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations, through Christ our Lord, Amen. About the hour of 1 p.m., Jesus appeared to me, covered with wounds and bleeding, saying to me, Behold my child, see to what ends the sins of man have reduced me. The world has lowered itself in overflowing corruption. The governments of the people have risen like demons incarnated, and, while they speak of peace they prepare for war with the most devastating implements to destroy peoples and nations. Men have become ungrateful to my sacred heart, and abusing my mercy, have transformed the earth into a scene of crime. Numerous scandals are bringing souls to ruin particularly through the corruption of youth. Stirred up and unrestrained in the enjoyment of the pleasures of the world, they have degraded their spirit in corruption and sin. The bad example of parents trains the family in scandal and infidelity, instead of virtue and prayer, which is almost dead on the lips of many. Stained and withered is the fountain of faith and sanctity, the home. The wills of men do not change. They live in their obstinacy of sin. More severe are the scourges and plagues to recall them to the way of God. But men still become furious, like wounded beasts and harden their hearts against the grace of God. The world is no longer worthy of pardon, but only of fire, destruction and death. There must be more prayers and penances from the souls faithful to me in order to appease the just wrath of God, and to temper it the just sentence of punishment, suspended on earth by the intercession of my beloved mother, who is also the mother of all men. Oh! How sad is my heart to see that men do not convert to so many calls of love and grief, manifested by my beloved mother to errant men. Roaming in darkness, they continue to live in sin, and further away from God. But the scourge of fire is near, to purify the earth of the iniquities of the wicked. The justice of God requires reparation for the many offenses and misdeeds that cover the earth, and which can no longer be compromised. Men are obstinate in their guilt, and do not return to God. The church is opposed, and the priests are despised because of the bad ones who give scandal. Help me, by suffering to repair for so many offenses, and thus save at least in part, humanity precipitated in a slew of corruption and death. Make it known to all men that, repentant, they must return to God, and, in doing so, may hope for pardon, and be saved from the just vengeance of a scorned God. In so saying our Lord God disappeared. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Brothers and sisters, especially in these times, let us not fear but instead, to pray very much and prepare ourselves both spiritually and physically. We should trust in the power and efficacy from praying, because this is a time where total trust in God is needed. With our strength, we are limited, but for God all things are possible. Brothers and sisters, let us not despair nor become despondent in these times of trials, 
but always strive to be holier every day by not sinning, the doing of good works, the praying of the rosary daily, but most of all to flee from the near occasions of sin. And at all times, dear brothers and sisters, let us remember the words which our Blessed Mother has said to Saint Juan Diego. Am I not here, I, who am your mother? And the prayer said in the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Act of Contrition My God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend thee my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for watching and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time, stay blessed and keep praying.